Okay, this is my mother's Volkswagen Caddy. It's a 2.0 TDI, four motion, meaning that it has four wheel drive. But this works though. I get it in, up on the hoist, and check that all four wheels are spinning, or at least one on the front and one on the back. Okay, okay. Let's get this car up. Here, see what happens. Hey, it does work. That was weird. I did feel like it didn't work. We will swap out the oil anyway. So. My mom needs the car in 50 minutes, so hopefully it'll be quick. That is a five millimeter Allen key. So one on the brakes on the rear axle was slightly sticking on, making the four wheel drive think that it had some traction and causing it to act up a bit. Keep that in a secure location. Note that there is a small copper washer there. 8 millimeter Allen key. Get your oil pan ready. It should be one liter exactly on this car. Okay. Okay, this is four millimeter. So if you're doing this by the book, you're supposed to hook up your computer, check the temperature of the oil and also run the pump at some stage. But uh, this way works too. Just take a quick drive and get some temperature into the oil. This is this is the filter. Need to remove the pump. Yes, that's four millimeter. Hopefully we can get the pump out easily enough. The uh, pump is all free now, but it often needs a tiny bit of help. Nice! It was 60 bucks for this filter, so I am re reusing it. Just snug them down. The bolts holding the filter and the bolts holding the pump are identical. So we can just, should be torqued down to nine Newton meters, which is essentially nothing. So here are the new part comes with everything, including new bolts. So that is good. Filter goes this way in. Find it easier to do like this, not to do that. And then like so. Squeeze. Give it a gentle tap. Okay. And it should take about a liter. Yeah. Snug. That is one changed Haldex fluid. And it doesn't get warm. So the car is equipped with the diesel heater and that is just throwing a lot of smoke and uh, full codes. I have unlocked it to try it and try it again, but yeah, it's working. So we need to remove that and see if we can service it or if we have to replace it. I've also bought a new thermostat because I feel, I have a feeling that that is broken. Also cabin air filter. So let's get to it.
here we can see the Vabasto in all its glory. So, from what I can tell, this whole unit is held on to a bracket. There's this bracket. Yes. We are going on time lapse because I do believe the front bumper has to come off. So, yeah, time lapse. So, the bumper is gone. That was way easier than I expected. And <laughs> it's an old car, so like half of the clips and half of the bolts were missing. So, yeah. But it's going for me now, so at least that's something. I do believe I have to remove the headlight to get like complete access. I would like to remove this, so uh, yeah, headlights up. There. Ow! Christ. Huh. First connector I didn't break. Woo. Time to use one of my favorite new tools. This plier. This plier is made for these. This is just from the exhaust tube, so this isn't breathing properly. I tried to remove these three bolts. This is the burn chamber. Is that word? I'll remove them and see what happens. Okay. Okay. Oh, 
fill this with diesel and I'll just put this in. Yeah, that's a good plan. I'll do that. Yeah. Rest here for some time. I did not notice the gasket on top of the burn chamber, so I didn't remove it at first. I did it eventually, but uh, yeah, remove that if you're doing this. There are also two rubber gaskets on the side where the water or the coolant runs through. Remove those two as well. De-icer, I guess. Stuff you use to, if you have moisture in your fuel. So, the last thing I did... So here I'm checking the resistance on the glow plug to check that that is within spec and it's yeah, working. That is great. And it was. There we go. Label, air intake, fuel line, exhaust. Since the assembly is just reverse of the disassembly, I think we'll just... So, headlight in, only the front bumper left. I just cut loose or removed all this. It's probably for extra lights, but it was removed because this wasn't connected to anything anymore, so nice. Before I try to start, before I try to start the disc later, I'll just apply some of this is to remove uh, condensation from the fuel and this is the stuff I use to burn the heating the burn chamber clean so I'll just add some just in case there's some in the fuel. I recommend doing this outside I did it inside with the garage door open the but yeah a lot on. of smoke. Lots of smoke. Tell it's been smoking, but uh, already it's much, much nicer. So, this is a good sign. Yeah, I call that a success. Uh, now it works. I just think it has to burn off everything since I soaked everything in diesel. It's not, uh, yeah, it's, I think it's common that it does a lot of smoke. So, the exhaust is really good now, but it's coming smoke off, off of everything, I guess. So, but the heater works. There's so much exhaust in the garage right now, I think I'll just come back at it maybe later today or tomorrow and change to the thermostat and uh, cabin air filter. Oh. It's 
So removing the thermostat was just pain. I don't know what the service manual says to do, but it was definitely not what I was doing. It did work, but uh, not recommended. Up one now. Did this go? Wow. Oh, here's the bad boy. Man, that was a tedious process. I'm probably doing everything wrong, so don't do what I do. New part going in. Finally, it's in. That took way too much time. Finally, that took way too much time. I will not do that again like that. So, um, like I said before, don't do what I do. Hopefully it's fixed now. I need to fill the coolant and also change the cabin air filter. So, I'm gonna do that. Plastic. There. Yeah, okay. That was just a pull. Oh, I'm scared of this. Job done. So, it's been a couple of days and the heater are working perfectly. And right now we have a cold period in Norway. We have had between minus 20 and minus 30 degrees Celsius for a week. So, really needed that uh, Vebasto, this heater to work. So, that's great. Now, the only thing left I'm gonna do with this car is change the rear brakes. Yeah, I'd say that disc is ready to ready for replacement. And yeah, also pads. Hopefully it's not seized. I like this piece because there's magnets. I think that's magnet. Maybe. There's magnets somewhere, so it stays on. And that is handy. What a so time to do the other side. Well, let's do it. There we are, new brakes on both sides. The pads on that side was terrible. I also swapped out the handbrake cable, and that's what you're seeing here. Okay. 
it's the same process on the other side except it's under this tray but yeah so my camera failed when i was trying to record the stuff inside but uh, i can say that it's much easier if you have rear seats yeah but i think we're all good i'll drive the car outside just to check that the brakes works and also the the handbrake and the brakes yeah and i need to tighten up the cap for the braking fluid